Hello and welcome to my playthrough of the Space Engineers Vanilla Edition. Um, I have been licking my wounds over what I did with uh, what I did with the other large rover ride I, I made, and uh, over there, and I placed myself as far away as I can over here at um, my uh, magnesium mine. Uh, and I have been building um, another rover from a blueprint I found on the workshop. Um, this one, made by Ariton 184. Um, Not that uh, I couldn't make one myself, but uh, I was kind of pissed after the last time and what I did there. So, uh, and I spent a lot of time cleaning up and um, and moving stuff from there. Actually, there's still some uh, rock uh, lying in the pit over there that I might go get for some reason. Uh, and um, what I want to do now is that I want to empty this and um, when I've been uh, emptying this out uh, I will uh, either go uh, check on my progress over here because I have grossly underestimated what uh, materials we needed over there so but about that later about printing the big ship so um, so you have connected it up and um, and now I want to move stuff over um, which is better on over here because then I can then I can show all the stuff that are here and this is uh, this is uh, uranium based which is not so good but at least um, I have uranium hmm. So, I'll just go down and find the large cargo container, and what? Oh, yeah, right. Um, That's because um, the sorters are there. Passenger seats uh, cannot be, you can transfer things to, um, to the passenger seats unless you sit in them. Um, five and six, and it's still processing the silicon and I'll just change that to magnesium so we, that we have both silicon and magnesium stuff. Well, I will try <coughs> if I can um, I'll try to see if I can oh, drive them back up. Mm. I was actually thinking ahead there, and that is number two, and right.
I have to be a little bit quick here. Yeah. Ah, I just damaged it. Ah. Yeah. What about that one? Is that damaged? Nope. Eh. I'll just have to That's the one. Why couldn't I do that in the first one? Alright. Um Nope, that's not it. Yes it is. It's that one. <laughs> and I will try to get the, the stone from here. Can I push it over here? Now I can because I'm in the cockpit. A large cargo container and nope, not the passenger seat. Cargo container, cargo container. Can I continue? Can I continue? I still can't take this from the disorder. Nope. Can I continue? Can I continue? One of the reasons I took this vehicle is also that it has a lot of uh, small grid. Um, large cargo containers so that I would be able to take a lot of it up with me and since I'm not going up in the air I don't have to think so much about what I how much I weigh so I took two thirds of what was there, so that would be uh, one more, and then I will have to check um, my wheels to see if I do not have a so that I do not scrape the bottom. Yeah. This is what went wrong for me last time, um, because when the pound was too high, it just simply jumped up in the air. And uh, I was unlucky with moving my mouse, so. Maybe I just need a little more, <laughs> a little more strength, a lot more strength. Um, what did I damage down here? Um, let's see, are there any damaged? Now, so I'll just take my wheel suspension again, take off the air shock, forgot about that. Um, nope, that's not what I wanted, wrong one, 50%, it's okay. Let's see how it offset, that's as low as it can be, that means it's as high as it can be. <laughs> so I'll just want to in my in my hot pie here I will uh, okay wheels 
Got a group there. Wheels, and I will in here increase strength and decrease strength. Oh, wait, where did it go? There. Okay. So I want to increase it. That will be six. Look, see how it bounce. So it's better to do this in small increments. So I set it to forty, and then let's see what happens when I drive. Ooh. I actually lost every wheel here. I actually lost two wheels. Huh. I'll see what happens when I raise it up to a hundred percent. Be careful. Oh, that's the wrong way. And I, in my K menu, find out which one did not have a wheel at wheel at wheel. No, it's too low. There's no room for it. Oh, man, I hope this could drive. What is happening here? I just lost another wheel. <laughs> oh man. I hate rovers. Ah, I lost the old run there. Man. I hate rovers. God damn it. Ah. Let's see. Crap. <laughs> uh, uh, the suspension is actually all right, but the wheels are gone. Oh man. Uh, right. Let's see if we can put on a piston. If I can't get the piston on here, I'm inclined to say, well, that's it. I do not want to mess around with that anymore. Um. With the small grid pistons here, you don't have an access point, so you actually have to either make one or hop into the cockpit. I'll just try and see if I can make one here. I'm not sure this is this is high enough or strong enough to actually lift this up. It is. Okay. So 
So let's see what happens when I put on wheels. No, it's not high enough. If the wheels actually came on, um, I wouldn't be able to press them again, so... business in the way um, all right another major failure um, I'll just take whatever I can of the silicon I don't have that much I empty and I'll be back for the uranium and stuff. Where is the silicon? What? Didn't I get any of the silicon? What? What happened to that? I could have sworn that I took the silicon. Well, I'll take what I can get. Maybe I should take the magnesium actually. First, because that is not as heavy. Right. Off we go. the last couple of episodes has been failure for failure for failure uh, but that's about practically what um, Space Engineers is all about uh, getting to a problem and uh, then fix it now I have grossly underestimated what number of steel plates and um, steel plates and especially metal grits um, the these want it so you can see this is 15 metal grits short so I have um, in my base here I have been putting on two extra assemblers uh, steel plates and uh, well I can actually click those but um, the missing items here is uh, it's reason why I wanted to get the stone um, in this assembler uh, I'll just empty myself first In this assembler, I have some metal grits and some steel plates. Um, and the funny part is that if I go over here, even though they are connected, I have more. And if I go over here, oh, it's just a little bit too high. I have even more. So, um, are we? So that is uh, a thing that you have to uh, to consider is that when you put on there are scripts there are scripts that would do that but um, you have to kind of um, when you do this the manual way, that, that each assembler has a production line. And if you do it from somewhere else, it just takes one assembler and uh, make that to do it. Um, so what I have here in my inventory
is that I have 353 and 400. That's a meteor storm. Ow! What's that? Oh. That's missiles. And there's still a meteor storm. Hey. <laughs> Alright. Keep getting distracted. Um so if I look for um metal grits. I can see that I have 13 over here and 19,000 there. So this is where I really, really would have liked um, a sorting mod so that I'm, I'm I know um, where my stuff is and how much I have of it. Um, so. it's not enough for anything so I need some stone um, so that is what I will what I'll do first is I will take the miner I'll just stock up on my hydrogen So I have halted the the printing of my ship um, to get resources to make what I need. So this has a connector on the bottom. So I will see with the risk of losing everything <laughs> to see if I can't uh, get over there and pick up all the stone that's already been taken. I guess that'll be the quickest way and will make that I will not have to to go mine and spend time on that. Because I must admit with this one I was a little bit too greedy. Hmm. By the way, I have uh, been reading about people having this issue with atmospheric clusters um, that won't work. And as I can read, um, it has something to do with the fact that I don't have enough batteries on it. And um, then when I'm not enough powered, it will um, <laughs> it will try to uh, uh, oh better not cook everything. No fuel. Um, it will try to um, to prioritize some of the engines, um, and the priori the prioritization is uh, the button I press. So if I press forward it will prioritize the engines that is actually pushing me forward and that means that the ones that wants to keep me up is uh, falling down so um, that's uh, that's what I've been reading about anyways um, I want it in here because I want to see what's in my ship and I want to hide the empty there so I want to take what I can into my okay it will actually automatically move it if I put it over in the drills well that's kind of them What? Hmm. Well, that's because it's all full. 
All right. It is all full. This is going to take a while. Well. Oh, it's heavy. Give myself some room and then get over here. I want to get into space so badly, get out of this gravity. I'll just try and see if I can very quietly hit this one. While I'm here, I will just um, check to see if I have enough cobalt to actually make. I got cobalt here. Oh cool. What's, what's my refiner's doing? That is magnesium. I want cobalt. Uh, magnesium there, uh, cobalt over there, and now we are running into. Okay, now we are running into the problem that um, my assemblers are full. I guess. Assemblers. I'm not at all full. Hmm. Why is it not? It's got nickel. Oh, it's iron it's missing. It's iron it's missing. Right. Okay. I would need to... Because I got some stone here. I need to put that in front of the line. Now I can see that my different assemblers always... Uh, is actually going on different production lines so um, that will give us a little bit to work with but I I would like to have this go on a little bit further uh, so I can make enough materials to do so so while that is going I just checked that my production line actually is queued up that has a lot of that that is making steel plates that is making steel plates and that is making yeah right while that is working Let's go check on our ice rig over here. It's going perfectly. It's going and it's picking up ice um, and a little bit of stone and uh, taking it over to uh, the refinery. Nice and easy. And these are only one year and six out so that's a lot of time there yet um over here um i was actually uh, this is a crater this nearly hit what i have sent and hit uh, and there were a little bit of iron ore after it it was only 10 kilograms or something something like that um and here is what i dropped so i'll just Inventory. Take what I can take here and 
go back. Now, what? <laughs> oh man, I oh, was my oh. Well, it's not that bad that I can just get up here. Creepy thing. See myself dead. I can kick myself for being stupid. And then I can go over here and uh, pick up what I had. I just have to choose myself over here. And that's because of that. Um, nope, I have to. I have to get over here. Mm, mm. And little mouse. Oh, it's all the mouse there. All right, all possible. And then I go pick up the last of the stone. And then it magically disappears. You only have a certain amount of time to collect your stuff when you die. Uh, so please always remember to uh, make that a priority when you die. To uh, go get your... Holy! What? What? Look at that! It's... <laughs> I know what happened. Um... Funny thing, when you have these uh, turrets and you have something out there that's hostile, they'll just fire and uh, fire through even your own stuff. And I need steel plates. <laughs> All right. I will take a light armor block and I will by clicking my middle mouse, take a lot of them. Because I need that to fix what has been shut up. Um. <laughs> if a meteor hits this, it will destroy because the impact uh, is so hard. Th this is because it's been hit by bullets. Um, so it was getting deformed. <laughs> All right. Um, and I actually get some scrap metal from um, uh, from fixing those. Um, so I'll just deposit what I have here, and then I will get up to. And what I will do now is that I will actually just uh, go back and forth and um, and try to um, collect what's left over there. Maybe I should just empty out what I have here first. Right. My... Um, our refineries can barely keep up with uh, with the need for iron, um, so I will just oh. I will just go quickly mine some iron from one of the iron ores I found. Um, Earlier,
Right. Now I am taking what I have here uh, in my ship and putting it over here in front of everything else. Uh, where did it go? Oh, that's because I took the other one, right? Put it in front of the stone. So, um, and I'll just quickly move every iron ore I have. And I took the ice along uh, when I got it because um, I need ice anyways. Um, and then I will go into my control panel, no, my inventory. I'm messing around under my refineries and I will take the iron ore first. That should give me um that should give me some uh some headway in in in, in terms of making more iron than I'm needing and that should speed up um Right, that should speed up the production of of ions. Um, if I go to my uh, simbers here, what I would like to see is that there will be a buildup of iron here, and there is. Cool. I'll just take whatever we got there, and there's a buildup of iron too. Right. Right now we are producing more iron than we need, and which means that um, my production will be sped up, and I will soon be able to get this going again. Well, but that will be um, that will be the last of, of uh, this episode. Um, and next time, hopefully, I would have uh, been mining and collecting enough so that uh, we could get this started again. And then we can get out into space. So, thanks for this time and happy building.